A Birthday Fairy Tale Written by Megan Pagetti Illustrated by Yuliana Semakovska Dedicated to the magic of childhood, the moments fly by, but the memories last a lifetime. Am I the only one who sees it? Reese asked. No one had mentioned her birthday was tomorrow. Tomorrow! December birthdays are the worst. Reese's loose tooth rubbed her tongue as she strung bees with her brother Charlie. One final touch, Reese said, holding out the biggest, shiniest bead. Mine, Charlie said, grabbing the bead out of Reese's fingers. Charlie grinned as he placed it on his pipe cleaner. Reese slumped. She did not feel like battling over a bead. Rummaging through the container, she found the only glow-in-the-dark butterfly bead. Perfection! Reese dashed away, ready to show it off. Mom was distracted. Dad was working. No one cared about her bracelet. No one cared about her birthday. And no one cared about her. Alone in bed on her birthday eve, she sniffled. How could they all forget? Reese rubbed her bees and wiggled her loose tooth with her tongue. With tears in her eyes, she whispered, Maybe I should just pack up and move to the treehouse. She tiptoed out of bed, pulled out her suitcase, and put on her favorite dress books, stuffed animals, fairy wings, my tutu. Oh, wait a minute. I can't forget my tooth fairy pillow. Aha! She bounced from toe to toe. There must be a birthday fairy too. How can I bring the birthday fairy to me? The glow of her perfect butterfly bead caught her eye. Of course! My bracelet! Reese crept into the hall and stood at her door. She hugged the bracelet and whispered a wish. I wish, I wish with all my might for the birthday fairy to come tonight. Leaving the door cracked, Reese yawned and shoved her suitcase under the bed. Snuggled beneath her covers, Hope was all she needed to enter dreamland. When the sun peeped through the window, Reese's eyes fluttered open. It's more than I dreamed, she squealed with delight. Toilet paper trails flowed around the room, as if silently singing, Happy birthday to you ready for Reese to spin through like a tornado, or better yet, treasure for days to come. Once her excitement bubbled to the brim, she gracefully escaped to find Charlie. Charlie, Charlie, come see my room. The birthday fairy came, the birthday fairy came. Charlie's jaw dropped in awe at the toilet paper tangled room. No way! There's a birthday fairy too? He squealed, but Reese had already danced off to find Mom and Dad. Mom! Dad! Reese sang, sliding into the kitchen, only to discover no one had forgotten her birthday after all. You've made your wish. I'm on my way. Zoom through the night for your birthday. Up and down in your room I'll sail. Over and under till your fairy tale. The end. The author of A Birthday Fairy Tale, 
Megan Pagetti. He reached out to me to read her book. I am so honored and thrilled. And I love this book and I hope you loved it too. If you'd like to purchase a copy of A Birthday Fairy Tale, I have put the link down below in the description box. Check out her other fairy tale titles, Fairy Tale Wish and Fairy Tale Birthday Trouble. Have a wonderful day. Bye.